Thanks for stopping by. This is Two Minute Classroom, and today I'm giving you three fun facts about mitochondrial DNA. Number one, all of your mitochondrial DNA comes from your mother, at least in most cases. And she got hers from her mother, and so on and so forth through all the mothers of history. This is because you come from a sperm and an egg. The sperm from your father and the egg from your mother. The egg is a complete cell with all the organelles, including mitochondria. The sperm, on the other hand, is just a DNA delivery pod bringing the father's DNA to the mother's egg. As a result, you most likely got all your mitochondria and its DNA from your mother. Fun fact number two, mitochondrial DNA is round, not linear like the DNA in your nucleus. And it is completely separate from the DNA in your nucleus. They never interact. The 27 genes on your mitochondrial DNA code for specific proteins used by the mitochondria, such as ATP synthase. And fun fact number three, your mitochondria has its own DNA because it was once a bacteria that was engulfed by early ancestors of eukaryotic cells. This is called the endosymbiotic theory, and it essentially states that an early single cell organism engulfed a mitochondria-like bacteria and enjoyed its energy-producing properties so much that it decided to partner with it forevermore. It's a great love story. If you are currently studying DNA and genetics, or anything really, then check out my test prep playlist to dominate your next test. Or check out my latest video here. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.